It has literally been snowing like this all day. And, I, you know, on most January days, it would just keep piling right up, but not in late April. And you can see, again, we've been kind of watching this sidewalk, which has been even untreated. This is a great example, an untreated sidewalk. Uh, so you know, the fact that it's black, the fact that it is a high absorber of albedo or the sun's reflectivity, uh, you know, it's got, because it has a low albedo, it absorbs a lot of solar radiation. That means you've got, to, obviously, some sticking going on through here. So obviously some great news. You can see the snow uh, hasn't really damaged any of the crab apple trees here behind me here. And guys, I'll tell you, there's something about snow. It makes just about everybody come out. As a matter of fact, look at who I had a visit from today. Oh, oh. Can, can you believe it? Hello, so, Jim. How are you doing there, big fella? I'm good, thank you. Just came into town. I'm breaking in a new sleigh and some reindeer, and I saw you were going to be at Orchard Park today. So you're trying to get it used to this uh, this kind I of am. marginal yes, snow situation. How's it working out? It's working out real well. Things are going very, very well, Jim. Are a little are, are a few people that have seen you besides me a little like perplexed? Well, they are, but they know who I am. Everybody knows Santa, it, Jim. It goes without saying, yeah, doesn't it? It does, yes, it, it does. It goes without saying. Well, how, uh, what do you think? I mean, uh, this winter, we didn't have much of a winter, Santa. No, how, not, how'd you get winter. around? You have to put some wheels it on It was tough, thing? yeah. We put wheels on them, but the reindeer are pretty used to it. We can go on anything, Jim. You, you can do anything, right? you got to hit Florida every year. We, we so do. There's yes, no we snow do. there. We do. All right, what do you got in that sack there? You got a... Got anything special? Well, you know, we're keeping busy at the North Pole all year long, and we do have special gifts in here, Jim. Well, Santa, thanks for stopping by. You're buddy. welcome, Jim. I really you have appreciate a great that. day. How about that Santa Claus? Oh. How about that, guys? Not bad to uh, have old St. Nick stop by for a little visit here. Uh, he's testing out some new... So a new sled, you know, with these, with this, with this uh, global warming, with this climate change, you know, less snow. He's got to get better traction on uh, on what little snow he has to work with here. So uh, obviously, some great news. But uh, I'll tell you, it's interesting. These folks in Buffalo, just great people. They come out, they say hello, they just want to do and, and have a good time. As a matter of fact, we got a gentleman out here who I'm not going to talk to, but he wanted to play the saxophone for us. Remember when I said when I start talking again, you were supposed to play? Correct. What, what did I start doing back there? Talking. All right. So what are you supposed to do? There we go. All right. See that? I'm not the only one who doesn't listen to my cues. He's singing the weather blues right now, from what we understand. To think I, and I thought I was in New Orleans. Anyway. <laughs> Actually, that's not bad. He's, he's belting it out pretty good here. Only in Buffalo. Only in Buffalo. God. <laughs> Todd, back to you. You have to love the locals. I love, I mean, he sounds good, man. And I just saw Maceo Parker this weekend. That's not bad. So, hey, great stuff there, Jim. And glad you ran into Santa as well. And, hey, you know, I want to talk about the situation because a lot of locals, 